Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I'll share three different procedural setups in Odini. So I saw a video from the Maxon team on how to generate variations by combining different pieces of geometry and after some digging and help from Fenolis on Discord, here's the setup. Starting by generating the geo, I have three different variations creating a connectivity attribute named class and packing the geo. Doing the same for the stems and let's call it flowers. Merging everything and then generating a new connectivity, this time a name attribute. Then we unpack and iterate over each named primitive. As you can see, we have the vases in the first iteration. Now, using the attribute from pieces, we can randomly select a piece and copy two points. I also randomized the seed attribute based on the iteration. Running the loop for the necessary amount, we get a random piece being copied to each point and many different variations, only limited by the amount of input geo you have. And of course, you need to use the piece attribute on the copy to points node. This next tip is on generating concentric shapes. In this case, I want to generate them in multiple pieces, otherwise I wouldn't need the loop. So iterating over each primitive, grouping the unshared edges and converting it to a curve. Extracting the centroid and placing the shape in the center since we will copy it to points. Now we generate points, set the amount according to the number of copies you need, then we will need an ID or index attribute on the points, and we manipulate the p-scale with an attribute adjust float using a remap attribute option, setting a min and max scale, and finally remapping the index from zero to the amount of points we have. This part of the setup was shared by Aconoclastis on Discord also. Make sure to join the Think Procedural server. So if we copy the points, we have the desired result. Now if we run the loop, we do get a decent result, but some of the shapes have their center a bit off. In this shape, for instance, we have the centroid a bit off center. So what we can do instead is to measure the centroid instead, which will give us a better result. Having the new centroid, we want to move the shape to the center of the world, but with its center based on the centroid. And that's what I'm doing in this wrangle, calculating the offset between the centroid and the origin and moving the shape. And that's about it. Now for the last tip on step orientation, which can be easily achieved with a scatter and a line using the round two feature. The only downside is that you don't really have a seed attribute for the orientation. So I have a vex option that generates random rotations and then rounds it to the step we want with a seed and also an angle variation on top of the step orient so we can add a small offset so yeah that's what i have for today as always you can grab the file from my patreon and if you enjoyed this check out my procedural courses on the link below thank you and see you next time